Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Solo Black 313 coming at you. And um, last night I hit a hundred subscribers. And uh, wow, I just really want to say thank you to everyone that subscribed to my channel, my first 100. But I also want to thank, say thank you to all the people that have viewed my videos and um, I'm just really, really happy. I got a text message. I got a text message last night about 9:30. Um, today is February 21st, 2021, and so um, I was just really ecstatic about getting that text message saying that I hit 100 subscribers. Um, so now all I can say to that is on to a thousand. All right. So um, as you see in the th thumbnail. Um, I've decided to do a tent stove. Now, um, in a previous video, I talked about, um, I had wrote to Pamali and asked them if they would uh, send me a tent stove um, to do um, a review on. And they politely declined, because at that time, when I asked, I only had 23 subscribers. And so, I mean, that's cool. Um, it's taken me nine months to get 100 subscribers. And um, so, I mean, that, that's fine. Um, I just took a chance, you know, um, nothing beats a failure but a good try. And so I tried to get a free tent stove to review. Be that as it may, um, Pomali, Lux, Winter Well, and I think it's M3 are the big boys when it comes to tent stoves. Um, but they're a bit pricey. Um, so let me explain. I live in Detroit, Michigan, and the closest really good state park uh, is like 60 miles from Detroit. And because we're dealing with the, the winter here in Detroit, um, this year especially, it's been pretty above um, normal as far as snowfall. So I had to take that in consideration uh, as far as purchasing a tent stove. Do I want to go out and spend $500 on a tent stove and really, I'm, all, I'm only going to use it, you know, be able to use it, you know, maybe three or four times in a year. Um, I have a friend who has property uh, up north Michigan, well, like northeast Michigan, uh, near Marine City. He has about 30 acres of land, and he and his son will go out, set up the hot tent, and they'll stay out there for a day, day and a half. I don't have that luxury um, to walk out my back door, um, but I do have my tent set up outside as we speak right now, and I will go out there, and I will uh, camp in my backyard um, because I, I like to camp, and just because it's snowing, I'm still going to do it. I'll take food out there. And now, how I'm heating that, uh, that um, one Tigris iron wall tent is with my uh, Mr. Buddy portable heater. Now, if it gets down to 30 degrees with that Mr. Buddy, I can get my tent up to about 60, 65 degrees. Um, but the Mr. Buddy is running currently off the one pound propane takes. I get about four hours off of one propane uh, one pound tank, the cylinder. Yes, I, I found a five pound propane refillable tank um, on the internet. I'm going to put a picture of that up and it's $165. Now, but I can refill it. And when I refill it, it only costs me $3 to refill that five uh, pound pro propane tank as opposed to buying a one pound propane tank where I get mine from that's been the cheapest is $11 for two cylinders. And so like I say, if I do two cylinders, that's eight hours worth of runtime on my Mr. Buddy, as opposed to when I get the five gallon, I mean the five pound propane tank, I can run it for 20 hours. So what I'm intending on doing is getting a hot stove Use the hot stove till I get ready to fall asleep, okay? The wood, the wood burning stove. And then turn the propane tank on 
at the time that I think I'm about to turn on, and I, that'll get me until the next morning because I do not want to wake up every hour or so to feed a hot uh, a tent stove. I'm, I'm just not going to do it. So, um, and because I motorcycle camp, um, and when I motorcycle camp, I use my um, 2004 Honda ST1300. Now that comes with a 45 liter Givy top pack, uh, top case, and two side panniers around 20 liters. That's 85 liters of storage. As opposed to me, as opposed to a hiker, hikers tend to count every gram. I got a friend of mine that bought a 75 liter uh, backpack, and it's huge. But then when he showed me the backpack, he started taking things off. Um, not the main waist strap, he didn't take that off, but there were some other little straps that were dangling from the, the, the backpack on this 75 liter. And it also came with some paracord on the zips. He took all of that off. He, took, he said, I'm taking off anything that is not necessary for me to do my hiking with. Okay, I'm not a hiker. I don't have to count weight like a hiker. Now, I do have to be conscious of the uh, space I have on my uh, ST1300, but as far as weight, I'm not really concerned about the weight. But, okay, so now, I do have an ammo can that I'm going to convert, and so I'm going to go the uh, Pack of Flame 50 caliber ammo can conversion kit. That's what I purchased. Um, like I say, the other hot tent stoves, I'm not gonna do it. It's just too expensive. Not to say I won't do it in the future, but as of right now, I'm not spending $500 for a tent stove and only can use it you know, three or four times out the year. Now, the ammo can that I got, I got from Harbor Freight, it was 14 bucks. The pack of flame kit that I got was $77. Now, Pack of Flame offers three different variations of their ammo can conversion kit. You can get the basic conversion kit like I got. Which comes with the stencils and the material you need to turn a 50, a 50 caliber ammo can into a tent stove. The option two is when they send you that same packages package of nuts, bolts, templates that you need to convert a can, plus they'll give you, I mean, you, they'll, they'll include a 50 caliber ammo can to that kit. Now I'm going to list, list all the prices of all three of those options you have. The third option is when they send you a pre-assembled complete ammo can conversion. Um, I decided to go with the $77 deal because I want to make my own. So they're going to send me the templates, all the screws, all the hardware, and I'm going to go ahead and assemble um, the 50 caliber uh, ammo can to make it my tent stove. Um, like I say, in the future, if I see relevance to it, maybe I will buy a Pamali or a Winterwell or a Lux or um, an M3 tent stove. But right now, um, that's just not something I, I want to do. That's not, an, that's not a cost I want to uh, put out there like that. Um, so um, we're going to go out to the garage and we're going to put this ammo can kit together from Pack of Flame. And I'll leave, I'll leave information for Pack of Flame in the video. But before we leave, if this is your first time to my channel, um, as you can tell, I do motorcycle videos. I do moto camping videos. I do motorcycle repair and I showcase motorcycle equipment and camping equipment like this pack of flame uh, ammo can conversion. Uh, I would appreciate it if uh, you guys would um, like the video or if you see something in this video that you don't like, hey, leave a thumbs down. Put it in the comments. That way, like I always say, I can, your negative comments can help me improve my channel. Your positive comments give me the motivation to keep making videos. So, like I say, if you would, like, subscribe, 
press the bell notification. That way you'll get a notification every time I upload a video. All right, so we're gonna go to the garage. We're gonna put this thing together. I'll see you guys out there. To, um... Hey everybody, okay. Now we're in the black cave. Uh, let's get started on assembling this uh, pack of flame. Um, first, we're gonna talk about the parts that come included in the kit. So the first part we'll have, <clears throat> which I'm not going to use, will be this uh, flue. This is a four inch flue. I'm not going with a four inch flue. I'm going with a two and a quarter inch flue. So um, I'm not going to need this part, nor will I be needing this part. Uh, this part is called the, dot, the, uh, the top burner plate. Um, like I said, I'm going with a smaller, um, I'm going with a smaller exhaust port or chimney, so I will not be uh, needing these, this, and this, and uh, we'll talk more about that when the time comes. All right, then you have this part right here. This is the, um, this is what you put your logs on, um, and it's perforated. It's individually already cut, so you bend these out, and this will be at the bottom of the can, and you'll stick it in like that, and then you'll stick your logs in, and then the ash, like a, a ash catcher um, type, type plate. Second plate. Now, this plate right here is just a template. It's a template to go on the can to show you how to cut the door out. And I've already marked the, um, I've already marked out on the can, um, for the, for, the, for the sake of speed and time and that's how that so this does not stay on the uh, ammo can it's just a template to let you know where to cut your holes out at All right. this is the afterburner and the after the purpose of the afterburner is you'll you'll stick it in the can and you'll stick it up like that okay and what that does is when you get the fire um, started in the can, uh, it just makes the fire in the can burn more efficiently. So when you have this plate in there um, and the fire is coming out, instead of the fire going straight up and out of the flue, it slows it down, it redirects it, and actually the flame will roll up and roll back down so it keeps more of the heat in the stove, plus it, 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 it helps to reburn unburnt wood in the bottom of the stove. It makes it more efficient. So when you get ready to empty your can of ashes, you should have minimal amount as opposed to if you didn't have this afterburner plate. Then, okay, these will serve as the legs for the, the um, ammo can. This is the, the, the vent, and so you stick this in here, and you will you can dial down the air that's going in and vent it out. And you also have another one, and that will be this one that will slide back and forth on the can, so you can regulate um, how much air gets in there. You have these two pieces. This one right here is the uh, latch catcher, and this one is the actual latch. Then in this magnet holder, I have in this bag various bolts, nuts, and the hinges for the doors. All right, so um, what we're going to do now is we're going to actually start the assembly of the Pack of Flame 50 caliber ammo can, convert, ammo can conversion. Like I said, I've already pre-drilled with, um, with this template, so it's already pre, I'm not pre-drilled, I've already marked it off. And these are the points that I'm going to cut off uh, using this template. Like I said, I want to say once again, you don't, you won't use this template. It will not be attached. It's just a uh, template to show you where you need to cut and how much you need to cut. So let's get cutting. Okay. That'll be the first cut. Now, I don't know if you guys can really see this, but there are 
one, two, three, four, five, five holes. And these will be the holes that you use to uh, vent the can. Vent you'll need for the, the, uh, the bit you'll need for the uh, three larger holes is a 3 h 3 8 inch inch bit. 3 8 inch bit. Say that fast four times. All right. Okay, so now we have our three holes uh, for for venting. The next hole, the next holes we're going to put in uh, on the uh, for the template will be the three holes, the two holes. I'm sorry, the two holes next to the three holes for holding on the actual sliding mechanism. And I'll need a quarter inch bit for that. So this is a quarter inch bit. just to keep that bit from walking. Oh yeah. Okay, so now let me attach this so you can see better what's going on here. So that will sit there. And you'll be able to slide it back and forth to get your uh, ventilation holes. So there you go. Now we're going to work on the door. Now this is the actual door. Now when you're dealing with this door, make sure that this single hole is at the top for your can because that is where the latch bracket assembly is going to attach. So you need to have, so you need to make sure this hole is on your top right hand side. Don't put it in like this or this because you'll, be, you'll mess up. It doesn't go that way. The single hole goes on the top right side. The top, the very top right side. All right. Included in the package that you'll get will be various screws and nuts, and you'll, they also give you a hinge for the door. Let's get this out.
So here's your hinge right there. And that attaches to the left side of um, that attaches to the left side of the ammo can. So let's see. Let's put this together first, and then um, I'm going to pre-assemble this bracket to the door. Okay, I've got the door uh, and the door hinge pre-assembled. Now it's a case of just lining it up and marking off the area where you want to make your next to make the uh, to make your next marks. So I'm gonna mark it here, here, and here. That looks good. That looks real good. So now that I got my three areas marked, I'll punch them. So. And I'll drill them out. I got my holes all drilled out. I'll go ahead and start and I'll uh, attach the door. Let me put my gloves on because this stuff is pretty sharp. It's hard to work with gloves. But got to do what you got to do. Stick that there. Ah, screw that. Can't work with gloves. Don't need no stinking gloves. Cool beans. Okay, our door, our door is attached. It's coming out pretty good. The next, we'll go ahead and add the vent.
All right, so that slides like this to open and close the vent. So that's closed. And this, you'll bend this tab up. I'll show you guys a little bit later on. Can you see that? It opens to, uh, to let the air in and it closes. And that's working out pretty good. All right, next step. The next step we will tackle will be the circular uh, air vent. So before installing the circular vent, you're going to need to bend these tabs out. So you bend these tabs this way, and you bend this one that way, and then you install them on the, uh, on the front. So you'll put a, a, a screw, a nut, a lock washer, and another nut. Now the reason why you put the, the, the nut, the lock washer, and another screw, I'll show you in just a second. There you go, and then so now you can open and close the vent. Open and close the vent. There you go. All right. Well, that's gonna wrap it up. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as usual, like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Solo Black 313, Rise and Ride, everybody be safe.